there is the issue of free will versus the higher planned, guided, divined, predetermined way. There is a debate which we can have as to which one is true. Do we have free will or is there destiny and fate or things predetermined? Which is it? We cannot fully answer that. Let me assure you. And I say me because not only am I a lifelong student of this, but I happen to be a leading programmer of astrology software and teacher of astrology worldwide and have been doing so for many years. And I've been heavily involved in this and I have a lot of experience with people's charts and watching the heavens and watching people's lives, many people's lives, many charts. And I have clearly seen that astrology definitely works. There is fate, there is destiny from a birth chart so much of the life can be known and mapped and it does come true so that is showing that there is destiny fate and predeterminism on the other hand we feel like we're full of free will we feel that we have so much choice so which is it it's both the the system of fate and destiny that we live in, the life we are made to live in by the higher guiding creationary source is such that the soul inside you is looking out at the world through intelligence and mind, which in Sanskrit, you know, the Hindu way is called, you know, the uh, buddhi intelligence which from which comes Buddha and mana which is mind and uh, the intelligence is more about vigyan which is realized knowledge and the mind is more about gyan which is just little points of fact so the mind is running around looking at facts and things and just kind of on a rampage of seeing and delineating what things feel good in the now and what things don't like sugar feels good on the tongue the mind knows that and it says sugar 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 but that's not intelligent that may not be good for you so the mind may not be good for you the mind needs to be controlled so in the greater system of destiny and fate there are these things which we are being forced to work through our intelligence and our mind and they are like mirrors through which we see the world. We don't see the world directly, not for real. We see it through our allotted ability granted to us through our granted level of intelligence and our granted clarity of mind. Some people are born smarter than others. They're born with greater gifts in those areas. And thus we all have to suffer or enjoy our allotted level of intelligence and mental capacity and we are seeing through those and through those the soul is seeing the fated destinied life for the first time at every moment so at every moment the soul is seeing what is unfolding what has been planned to unfold just as when you watch a play it is very well known to the author of the play, the script writer, the actors, actresses. They know, but you don't. That's what makes it exciting. You sit in the audience. You watch it unfold. And it's very exciting. You're watching it for the first time. That's how life is. And as you go through life, just as at the play, sometimes you may cry, sometimes you may laugh, as it unfolds, you enjoy and you suffer. But the higher knowing when you're at the play is to know that there is a message behind the play. There was a reason it was written. It has something to teach you. So, so it is with life. It is unfolding under a plan. It is not random and just chaotic. 
If that were so, then sometimes we would see people float off the earth. Why not? We would see people just suddenly change into things we had no idea even existed. Why not? If there was chaos and no controlling factors, we would see whatever. But we don't see whatever. We see everything functioning within very strict physics laws, universal laws. And not only that, if we're watchful, which many people are, we see that people are very much similar, going through very similar lessons. The fields like psychology, psychiatry, etc., they're based on studying patterns of human awareness and the unfoldment of awareness, lessons, etc. This is common knowledge, actually. You know these things deep in your heart, that... As you sow, so shall you reap. You know that. You know that you're a soul. You know that you ultimately will be nonviolent.